forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Murua o mato hara, me mato hoki e muru nei i o te hunga e hara ana kia mato. Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on this Friday. Our call to worship. Never forget to show kindness, to share what you have with others. These are the sacrifices which God approves. Our Gospel Reflection Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd. You were willing to die for the sheep. You are the Good Shepherd, as the Father knows you and you know the Father. In the same way you know your sheep, and your sheep know you, you are willing to die for us. The Father loves you because you were willing to give your life. No one takes your life from you. You give it up of your own free will. You are the Good Shepherd. Jesus is the Good Shepherd who understands our frailty and knows each one of us by name. We take a moment to give thanks for all of those who shepherd us in the pattern of Jesus Christ. While we were still helpless, Christ died for the wicked at the time God chose. One of us might dare to die for someone good, but now we see God's love. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. God rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us safe into the kingdom of his dear son, by whom we are set free and our sins are forgiven. So we rejoice in the hope we have of sharing in God's glory. By his Holy Spirit, God has poured into our hearts the love of Christ. Our reading for today is taken from Paul's epistle to the Romans, chapter 3, beginning at the first verse. Then what advantage has the Jew? Or what is the value of circumcision? Much in every way. For in the first place, the Jews were entrusted with the oracles of God. What if some were unfaithful? Will their faithlessness nullify the faithfulness of God? By no means. Although everyone is a liar, let God be proved true, as it is written, so that you may be justified in your words and prevail in your judging. But if our injustice serves to confirm the justice of God, what should we say? That God is unjust to inflict wrath upon us? I speak in a human way, by no means. For then how could God judge the world? But if through my falsehood, God's truthfulness abounds to his glory, why am I still being condemned as a sinner? And why not say, as some people slander us by saying that we say, let us do evil so that good may come their condemnation is deserved. What then? Are we any better off? No, not at all. For we have already charged that all, both Jews and Greeks, are under the power of sin, as it is written. There is no one who is right, righteous, not even one. There is no one who has understanding. There is no one who seeks God. All have turned aside, Together they have become worthless. There is no one who shows kindness. There is not even one. Their throats are opened graves. They use their tongues to deceive. The venom of vipers is under their lips. Their mouths are full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Ruin, misery. Ruin and misery are in their paths. And the way of peace they have not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Now we know that whatever the law says, it speaks to those who are under the law, so that every mouth may be silenced and the whole world may be held accountable to God. 
for no human being will be justified in his sight by deeds prescribed by the law, for through the law comes the knowledge of sin. We hold some silence to reflect on God's word to us today. let us bring before God the needs of the church, the world and ourselves. Gracious God, you are the way, the truth and the life, the fountain of all wisdom. And so we pray for all Christian people this day, for our bishops, for all those who teach and guard the faith. May the word of Christ dwell richly in our hearts and knit us together in the bond of your love. We pray for the leaders of the nations and those in authority under them. And we name before God those who are leading our nation. Give them the gift of your wisdom and the right discernment in all things. We pray for our city, our town, our villages and our communities, for all who live and work and visit here. We ask your blessing, Lord, on our spaces and for all those who seek the common good. We ask you to speak your word of peace to us today. And through your Holy Spirit, equip us to serve as Christ has served. We pray for those who do not believe and for those of hesitant belief. Open their ears to hear your voice and open their hearts to receive you. And so we pray for those ministries operating through our own communities our faith spaces and our neighbourhoods that seek to extend the love of God to others. And we ask God's blessing on those ministries today. We pray for the world in its great need for God to restore the whole of creation to his loving purpose. We pray too for those bowed down with grief, fear or sickness. And we name those who need God's healing touch before him now. May Christ, your living word, bring his comfort and healing today. So too we remember all of those who have died in the faith of Christ, those that we love and miss. And we ask for you to give us hope today that we may see your promise fulfilled. Lord of the Church, hear our prayer and make us one in heart and mind. Through the power of your Holy Spirit we pray. Amen. Our Father, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. E tomato matua murua o mato hara. 
me mato hoki e muru nei i o te hunga e hara ana ki a mato. Saviour, hanging on the cross, declaring God's love to us, you are forgiveness. Beside you hangs a thief, beneath you waits Mary the forgiven, and all around watch those many people to whom you give new life and hope. To us you give new life and hope. Forgiven sinners become your body and your church. May the reconciliation we share bring your gospel to all the world. Eternal God, by your power we are created and by your love we are redeemed. Guide and strengthen us this day by your spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Jesus, you knew rejection and disappointment. Help us, it, help us if our work seems distasteful. Help us to decide what best to do, what next to do, or what not to do at all. Give us courage and cheerfulness to go the second mile and all the miles ahead. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We pray your blessing of God be with you on your weekend ahead.